What it takes to think like a programmer. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why are programmers so famous for their thinking abilities? Well, here is an open secret. You do you not do have not to have be a to programmer, be a programmer, programmer to, think to think like, like one. one. What? What the fuck? It doesn't matter if what you do is hammer at your computer all day or you're simply an average Joe like us. You can develop a programmer's mindset without doing programming. To help you with that, today's video will cover four key strategies that programmers use in getting things done. You can apply them to your personal life, workplace, and if you happen to be one, your software development career. By the end of this video, we will have cleared the mystery surrounding programmers and you will be ready to utilize their tricks yourself. Let's get into it. Problem solving. Steve Jobs once said, Everyone in the country should learn to program a computer because it teaches you to think. The first quality a programmer's thought process is their approach to problem solving. We cannot emphasize this enough. Employers will most likely be looking out for your approach to solving problems, so will friends and family. To get through a problem, you need to take a step back from it. Do not go straight into it, creating a solution when you barely had time to digest the crisis. Think through it until you fully understand and can analyze the possible consequences of any steps that you take towards resolving it. One technique that is very helpful in these situations is the ability to deconstruct each problem into far smaller challenges. Often when all you do is look at the big picture, you tend to miss the smaller details at play. But as you implement solutions using this approach, you're able to recognize patterns in problems. You can identify root causes without going through the headache of dedicating an entirely new session of thinking to the challenge. Be sure to find methods that enable you to think easily, such as writing down the issue, sketching a diagram, research, or simply talking to others about it. Remember, if a solution does not come to you immediately, maybe it just isn't the right time for it. So go easy on yourself and try to invest your mind in other things before heading back to confront the problem. Next up, persistence. One word. Persistence. Every time you face a problem that looks unsolvable, there is a chance you will feel it's because you're not smart enough. All around you, you see people making astounding strides in software development, and you feel lesser than them because you started out thinking you could do that too. Newsflash, you certainly can. Just do it! Programmers have a mindset of not giving in easily. When one solution doesn't work, they come up with another then another, until they finally find one that hits. It is important to know that frustration can inspire a lot of negative thoughts in your mind. You may think, aw, I don't want to do this anymore, when the moment you're saying that is exactly when you are so close to solving the challenge. The key is to always ensure that puzzles do not get the better of you. If it gets difficult, look at it one way, then another. Zoom in, zoom out, and if necessary, start the entire process from scratch. And if that doesn't convince you, Remember that Einstein himself once said, it's not that I'm so smart, it's just that I stay with problems longer. Independence. Programmers do not become reputable problem solvers overnight. They do so by training themselves to be more independent-minded and capable of wadding through challenges on their own. Putting this into context, you may be limited by your current level of competence from resolving an issue. When that happens, try to see if you have exhausted all the alternatives to seeking external help. You can leverage digital tools at your disposal to see if it really is just something you can do yourself. You could tweak your approaches, modifying each one to fit the situation. In the end, you might get lucky enough to give to yourself a pattern the back. A worst case scenario, you don't, but you still get valuable experience. Really good. Leverage your community. All right, all right, we know this is kind of the opposite of the last one, but there really are times when you just need to ask. There are lots of online communities that programmers use to gain new insights, ask questions, and generally improve themselves. The reason you cannot ignore communities is because there might be better ways to solving a problem than the way you're doing it. Someone somewhere might know a shortcut or two and would be willing to share with other people in their space. There might also be an issue that you have been struggling with and will likely be able to resolve when you connect with better experienced programmers. In all, you cannot dismiss the importance of mentorship and access to like-minded people. Let us not forget to add that many of the frustrations you feel during whatever it is you're doing have probably been experienced by others in the past. If you connect with them, you could learn how to sort them out and be better motivated to do what you love doing most. So that's it. Thanks for coming around to watch today's episode. Do you think the extraordinary qualities of programmers are things we all have but have not been paying attention to? What methods can we use to make them a part of our daily lives? 
Drop your answers in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you all in the next video.